Hey, Monique Head here again. And today I want to share with you three ways that you can begin to feel more confident around men that you actually like. Because I know when there are men that you don't really, you know, you're not really feeling, it's easier for you to feel more confident, more whimsical, more flirty, more feminine. And it's because you don't really care what he thinks. But when you're around that man who kind of, you know, gives you butterflies and tickles your fancy and someone that you feel a chemistry, uh, like an energetic pull with, you begin to care what he thinks. And so you're not being yourself. OK, and so I'm just going to jump right into it with my index cards and share with you um, number one. OK, so number one, hopefully you can see that. You want to get you a bad bish song. You got to get you something good, okay? Get you a good song and allow it really to penetrate within you. And when I say a bad bitch song, I mean, how can I say this? Let me slow down. So Cardi B, I don't know if you're familiar with Cardi B or not, uh, but you know, she has the number one, well, she has a number one billboard song on the chart called Bodek Yellow. Now, before I couldn't really understand the hype with this woman. I didn't really know who she was, but I had heard the name and everyone was like playing her song. And I'm like, what's the, what's the big deal? What's the hype? So anyway, I watched a few of her uh, interviews on YouTube on like Vlad and the breakfast club and things like that. And I was like, okay, I, I can see what her appeal is. Um, she's just very sweet, at least earlier on in the videos that I had seen, she was just very sweet and naive, just raw and really real. But there was something that she talked about and she talked about little Kim's sluttiness and how that really appealed to her. Now, when little Kim came out, I was like in high school, and my mom was pretty strict and fairly conservative, but, you know, very strict and religious. And I wasn't listening to all that music, really. So when little Kim came out with her, you know, pussy this and this, this and that, I was like, wow, this lady is ugh, really, really vulgar. But one of the things that Cardi B says that she kind of liked that silliness, that like, you know, that that power that that little Kim has in her music. And, and another thing that Cardi B says, she's like, every woman wants that kind of like, that other side, that alter ego, that kind of sluttiness within you, even if you're, you know, you're a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets, right? And 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 I understood where she was coming from because I felt that that was real. Now, Little Kim may be too much for you because she was definitely too much for me, but there are other songs that might appeal to you that can get you more into your femininity, okay? Get you more into your feminine power and really helping you to operate within your feminine allure. And as you're going out, let's say you're going out on a date or you're going to a trivia night or you're going somewhere and you want to kind of up your confidence well you got to get you that song so it may be you know i like don't you by the pussycat pussycat dolls don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me i was speaking with one of my clients yesterday and she talked about adina howard freak like me which i totally remember that song um janet jackson janet jackson's you want this from like 1993 so whatever that song is for you right get you Get you get you a bad bitch song, right? Because that's going to help you to feel good about yourself so you can begin to own that feminine power, start moving in your body and own it, okay? So that's number one. Number two, the second thing that can help you to feel more confident around men that you actually like is that feminine and alluring mantra. It's just um, a saying that you really want to repeat to yourself, and it's going to help you to boost your confidence, help you to boost your spirit, your feminine spirit. And here's an example of, of how I, I came with my life. I talked about Janet Jackson, who I used to absolutely adore growing up. Now, Little Kim was too much for me back in the day, but when Janet Jackson, when I saw this video, because we didn't have cable growing up, and I remember going to my dad's house because he had the satellite dish, so we would just watch like the box and all these different music videos. And Janet Jackson, MC Light, and Janet Jackson's like, you know, dancers and her crew were singing this song like, you know, you want this? And then she said, what's my name, boy? And I was like, wow, that, <laughs> even as a young girl, that left an imprint on me because I saw Janet Jackson. I saw that she had a really nice body. I mean, her abs were so tight and she was just like really owning it. And then she did this thing. I wish you could see, I wish I was like different right now so you could see me dancing, but she like, Ooh, my bad. She like moved her body around, you know, and then she did. <laughs> I know you can't see me, but she like she did this kind of dance move. And I just thought that that was so attractive, but not in like a little Kim slutty way, but it was still very feminine and she was owning it. So from that, you know, as I developed in, into my womanhood, my mantra became, you want this. I know you want this. I know that you want me. 
Okay. So here's a tip. When you are around men and you just want to begin to say that to yourself, you want this. I know, I know that you want this, or I know that you want me. Because what that's going to do is that's going to, again, allow it to penetrate and you begin to believe it and your confidence begins to boost because you're holding on to a secret that nobody knows. Again, that's going to help to boost your warmth and your mystery. Okay, so that's number two. You want to get whatever it is for you. That's what I say and that's one thing that I, I help my clients with. Okay, thanks to Janet Jackson. The third thing that you need in order to feel more confident around men that you like is that you need a safe container and some accountability. You need a safe container where you, you're confident and you're allowed to be a woman, a feminine woman. Okay, not someone who's always in her executive energy. There's a time and there's a place for that. So a safe container and some accountability. This is where coaching comes in. This is where a safe community of women who are really on the same path, who foresee a similar trajectory. Okay, if this is something that you want, or maybe you want coaching on this, if this is something that you feel like you can't really do by yourself and you want some more support, or you want to go deeper, I want to encourage you to click on the link below and it's going to redirect you to a calendar for a special call with me. It's a breakthrough call. And if you feel like you have not been, you feel like you're confident to be a person, but you're not confident to be a woman, and you know that because you don't feel confident around men that you actually like, this is where that safe container, that uh, accountability comes in. In addition to your bad bitch song and your feminine and alluring mantra. Okay, so I hope that these tips just helped you today. And if they did, leave a comment below. Go ahead and subscribe and share this video because when you share, you add value. Okay, I'm Monique Head, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Take care. Bye.